Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online. Truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Beniza Vakwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College on Sundays in the morning and during the midweek Wednesdays in the evening. Now, this morning, I'd like to throw a challenge uh, to you. And I'd like to say, get down. Get down. Now, in Luke chapter 19, uh, verse 5, if you remember, now Jesus is preaching and crowds had gathered. And there were a huge amount of crowds that had gathered. And uh, the Bible says there was one man who was a publican or a tax collector. And his name was Zacchaeus. And he was a very short person. And so he, he climbed a sycamore tree. I mean, he, he climbed a sycamore tree in order, because there was a crowd, people are watching. And because of height disadvantage, he needed to climb a tree and um, look down uh, to others, uh, be a spectator to what was going on because everybody wants to see if I were there. I mean, I'm tall and uh, I may also climb a tree, who knows? But for me, I mean, Jesus in preaching and then Jesus singles him out for that particular moment and they say, Zacchaeus, get down from your sycamore tree. I want to eat in your home. And uh, then the story goes that Jesus goes to his home and as they're eating, Zacchaeus then made a confession. He said, Jesus, I want to, uh, people have stolen from, people have bullied, and all those other things, I'm going to return to them. And then I was like, wow. Then Jesus said, today, salvation has come to this house. That is, today, freedom has come. Now, the principles are very simple. Number one, he was short. So he was compensating for his height deficiency by climbing a tree. Now, there's something in the Bible that I've, I've observed you know, the Bible talks about uh, humanity as trees. You shall be called uh, oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. He shall be like a tree planted by the waterside. Jesus goes to a fig tree and then he looks at the fig tree and then he's expecting fruit from it. He's not getting that fruit, and so he curses the fig tree. So humanity is always, always sometimes referred as trees. So God uses wood, you know, to uh, um, depict humanity. So you see Noah's ark, you get it, and all the things inside, they open the side, just like they open Adam's side, and Eve came, the new creation came. Now Jesus uh, laid on the wood, head to the head of the wood, hand to the hand of the wood, feet to the feet of the wood. So uh, trees, uh, normally sometimes humanity, that's a typology, a typology of humanity. So guess what? When Zacchaeus climbed the tree, Zacchaeus was also revealing an eternal character of his internal character, of his, that is the dominance of people. Guess what? You would always try to compensate for your deficiency. You would always try to compensate for your deficiency. So for Zacchaeus, all he does in life was stamping upon people, climbing upon the wealth of other people. I mean, dominating other people, bullying other people. It was a revelation of his deficiency. So he climbing that tree was, for me, a demonstration of a, an internal character that he had to dominate, to be seen. So sometimes you'll be loud, you'll be aggressive, you'll be very domineering, and all those things. It is a revelation of an internal security, an internalized insecurity that you have. So Zacchaeus in life, if you watch him, as in life, in natural life, he was short. In, inside of him, he was also a very short man because all he needed to do was stamp upon people because from his confession, you would see that he had gained notoriety or he had gained wealth by stealing, by cheating, by dominating other people and being a hard-nosed tax master or tax collector for himself and from people. This is what was Zacchaeus. So he was compensating for his deficiency. So what he was doing there on that tree for me was very, very significant. He climbed in order to, to see. He climbed in order to apprehend. He climbed in order to listen. That is his normal life. Stamping upon people. 
Then Jesus goes to his house. And when Jesus goes to his house, he says, first of all, Jesus tells him, get down. Listen, you don't need to stamp upon people. You don't need to dominate people. You don't need to control people. You don't need to inject fear. You don't need to, you, you get it, you don't need to do that in order to become somebody. It is very, very important. And Jesus then said, come on, get down, get down, get down. That statement Jesus made was for me, not more than just get down from that tree because I want it. Because he said, listen, you don't have to be there for me to notice you. You don't have to be there for me to see who you are. But God knows who you are. And God says, so get down from your tree for goodness sake. Don't stand upon people. Get down from your high tower. Get down from what you're trying to prove. Get down from it. You don't need it. And guess what? When they go to the house of Zacchaeus, God says to Jesus, says, you are important. I want to eat in your home. And so you can imagine short Zacchaeus walking around and saying, yeah, you know, he knows me. I mean, you, you, see, you, you, know, you, see, you see, you come to eat in my house and all those things. But when they sit at table, then he realized that Jesus doesn't stamp upon people. Jesus doesn't climb upon people. He doesn't bully people in order to become popular or in order for people to love him. Then Zacchaeus says, I want what you have. And he says, you know, from today, I've cheated people. I've done all sorts of things to people. I want to give it back to them. Then Jesus said, today, this man is free. So your freedom is not in bullying people or standing upon other people or recklessly dealing with other people. But your freedom and the expression of who you are is loving people and treating people as human beings. Not as dogs, not as things that you need to uh, walk all over them and all those other things. That's not the way to go. I have seen people rise to positions of prominence, rise to positions of power, and all of a sudden they've changed. And their change is so drastic, you wonder. They become very careless, they become arrogant, they can domineer in, they stop upon people, they do all sorts of things to people, they forget. You ain't going to be there forever. You know what? Get down. See you later.